Hello, and welcome to Circuit Breaker Live, The Verge's premiere and flagship mm. gadget show yeah. live on YouTube. I'm Ashley Carmen. I'm Paul Miller. And Dami Lee is here. Hey. Our girl. Proud favorite. She's brought so many things with her. Uh, but first, before we get to the things Dami has brought, mm. let me just tell you what we have going on for this show. So Dami's here, and then we're going to have a massive crew that's going to come out and try out the spinning wheel of gadget wonderment, which is what I'm calling it. Official term. I don't expect anyone to know what that means, but you'll see eventually. So this is going to be a really great show. I'm excited. Also, this is our last episode, probably ever. Yeah, I it's didn't. I didn't mention that Surprise. because I'm it's trying sad. to keep the mood positive. Yeah. We're but... excited because we have the greatest gadget of all time. But we're, next week, we're not going to be standing right here. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But so, we're still. We'll still be online. The Verge exists. Not in front of you. Circuit right. Breaker exists. Ashley's making some amazing videos. Like if you go to the Verge YouTube channel, we've Dami's got, we've making got amazing content. videos. Yeah. It all exists. It just won't be live every week after this. After right now. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to talk about the sad stuff anymore. Sorry, Maybe we'll talk about it later. Stuff. But Dami, Nintendo Labo. Yeah. What? Tell okay. Us about so it. Labo, uh, which was just released, 420. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's a set of like DIY cardboard accessories for the Switch, mm. and a lot of people were kind of confused about it because Nintendo is selling two kits right now. There's the $60 variety kit. Oh, no, sorry, $70, mm -hmm. which comes with five different games, like this toy piano you can build right here, or like a fishing rod. Um, and then there's also an $80 robot kit, which Paul is modeling right now. And people were like, why is this cardboard so expensive? Like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you're not just paying for cardboard, you're also paying for like the experience. And it comes with like this game cartridge, which has all of the corresponding games for it. Um, but Let's start with one of my favorites, which is this toy piano here, and I'm going to explain how this all works. Yeah, so, but just to clarify, because I was confused about this for a while, you don't buy Labo and then buy a bunch of these different things. There's a kit that mm -hmm. is a bunch of stuff, and then there's a kit that's a robot. And yeah, they're, they're separate. Independent yeah. Switch cartridges. Yeah. They're and it's separate. all separate from your Switch, which mm -hmm. is a whole other thing you right. have to buy. Yeah. Okay. So right now we have the variety kit cartridge in the Switch right now. And I'm going to use that to demonstrate how this toy piano works. Um, oh, get the it part. looks really impressive. Yeah, so basically um, the build guide says it takes, what, I don't know, like three hours to build this. Um, but that's probably like assuming like you're building it with like a small child because this is really marketed towards kids. Mm. Um, this yeah. took Meg, our production manager, um, an adult. It took her like an hour and a half to build. Wow. And it's mostly like just so much folding and like you really got to follow all the steps. And yeah, you just press it like that. All of this is individually folded cardboard. Yeah. Like everything is cardboard. You don't need scissors or glue or anything. Like they've engineered this so you can just build it like right out of the box. Really cool looking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into the software here and go into the toy piano mode. We're going to, okay, so first you have to control or connect the controllers wirelessly. I'm just gonna wait for that to detect. And this is important because uh, the red controller has a IR camera right there. And this picks up on little IR stickers that are on the back of the keyboard here. So if you look right there. You can see them. Yeah. And those are stickers you have to put on yourself, Yeah, right? so the kits all come with like a roll of like IR stickers and you just have to place them in the right positions. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And let me just stick this into the back of the piano here. So when you um, like press a key, it'll reveal itself to the camera, telling mm -hmm. the switch to make a sound. And let me turn up the volume here. I love how you slot the screen in. Yeah, so Whoa. right now it's on um, a mode for to make the keyboard sound like cats. And it's not like super musical. You can't really make music with this and basically how that works. Um, I just really feel bad for parents. I can just see it like a terrible child. Just like, imagine jumping and doing this doing all this day. All day. Kind of a nightmare. Oh my god. But there's different uh, filters you can put into the keyboard here. So that was just the cat filter. And basically, all of these little knobs here. It's have, instantaneous too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got a different so pattern. These are like codes almost. Yeah, you can see you just place it on there. 
differently. Let's try this one. Um, this one is an angelic voice. Oh, this is quite there perfect. There you go. Ooh, lovely. You can always yeah. tell your kids that we lost the cat sound one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, where'd it go? And you can press this little lever here to bend the oh, pitch of a note. Wow. I feel like I could hear that in like a Brooklyn warehouse or something. Oh yeah, I hear this Wait, in my neighborhood. Like, what are these <laughs> buttons for on the top, on like the left or right, the play? So I think play, this one is uh, for recording songs. Okay. Just press the button. Oh. Well, I did not program this. <laughs> it's okay. This it's is just a playing a song now. for us. This is, this is Happy Birthday, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess this just came with it. We're still discovering. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we got the harmonies. Wow. Beautiful. Can we hear the cat Aww. version, please? Let's, let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> cat was what, number three? Oh, wait, no, this one's also really good. It's okay. um, Old Man. <laughs> kind of horrifying. This is my favorite like, which thing. Which one would you rather have your kid play with more, the cat voice or the old man? <laughs> oh. I really don't know. Oh, well, they have different songs. I guess so. This does not sound like music. It sounds like someone's being beat up, to be oh, honest. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's over. Um, so that's the piano. Yeah, so let's see what other filters there are. No, we did that. There's also, like, some Dami, more complicated Dami, someone wants to know if the Labo is flimsy or weak, and also, is it easy to replace, like, if you lost mm -hmm. pieces, maybe? Yeah, so Andrew Webster reviewed the Labo, and he has, like, two kids, like, super young, and he said it's, like, surprisingly durable, mm -hmm. um, but also Nintendo sells, like, replacement kits if uh, you, like, destroy okay. something, yeah. or but he also said it was, like, easy to fix. Um, I think they even have tutorials of, like, how to repair something if you mm -hmm. break it. Yeah. Okay, cool. But Nintendo also suggested, like, you should hold on to these, like, cardboard kits that it came from. So if you finish making one, you can always use it as a stencil to, like, create oh. more kits. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they really everything. thought of everything here. Reproducing. Reproducing uh, cardboard kits here. Um, yeah. Oh, we're back to the cats. <laughs> and there's so many, like, different modes on here. So that was just the toy piano. If you go into studio, you have way more options. Um, this is like a baton that also came with the cardboard. I don't know where it went, it's gone. Um, but the studio lets you like really record and like play around with making music and it also gives you more octaves. So like five octaves that you can adjust with the lever here. This is a lot scarier looking. Yeah. This is intense. That's no. like a drum kit. So is this where you would record, maybe? I guess. Oh. Hey. Oh, it has a metronome and everything. Oh, now you started. They were counting you in. Oh. So what happens? You can delete <laughs> the tape you just made. That was trash. Wow. Try again. Okay. Delete your account. OK. Well, cool. That was that. So let's check out something else. Yeah, so let's uh, take this off and maybe move on to the fishing rod we have here. And the fishing rod is fun because you can play the corresponding game that comes with it. How do you get these Yeah, when out? I saw that there's a fishing rod, it's like I was really having a hard time. One, it's made out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. Two, how is that like a video game? Uh, so the video game is basically, it's very calming. You just reel in the fish that you catch. But the way they set this up is you put the screen on like this. And you have to... Is it going to teach me how to fish? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> just to be clear for people, this is still part of... The variety kit. The variety yeah. kit. This, this is the seventy dollar kit. Yeah. Okay. So piano, fishing, uh, all same kit. Motorcycle. Like there's a house that you can build with like a Tamagotchi character in and it. And it's all all the games are on one. All cartridge. the games are on one cartridge. Okay. So we're gonna put this controller. I think it was right here. Yeah. And the red one goes in there. Did I do it right? Oh, sorry. No, we got this backwards. So the instructions are all on the screen here. We don't like following instructions. Yeah, the red one should have gone. We prefer yeah. to experiment. Let's do this. Just play by our own rules. There you go. Okay. There you go. So is this using the camera too? 
Yes, so the camera is on the red controller and it can sense where your fishing rod is. Right now, Ashley is diving deep into the ocean in search of fish. We're gonna wait for fish to come along and bite <laughs> the hook. Just I'm in wait. an amazing... Is this guy up. Oh. Mm. So I can also pull it yeah. and it knows. Yeah. Just so crazy. People can see that on the screen. But... Oh, this is a big one. Whoa. Whoa. I want this, dude. Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it's more effective oh, to go like this or to go. Maybe it's like a combination of both. Yeah, that does seem yeah. to be more effective. Okay, you gotta be, you gotta be we're patient. Gonna, we're gonna be wait. You gotta be patient. Yeah. I have no patience, but this is good. It's a mm -hmm. skill I need to practice. Maybe this will like teach kids patience. Okay, okay. Well, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Reeling. I think you got it. Hey. There we go. Yay. Okay. So that's basically the fishing game. You got a macro. Yeah. I did amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is awesome. I could absolutely see myself playing with this all the time and uh, sitting in the office doing it, maybe. Yeah, like good for when you need a break. Yeah. How long does this one take to make? Uh, so Creighton, our producer, made this. I think it took him, like, what, an hour? 30 minutes? An hour? An hour and a half, Yeah. An hour and a half. Yeah, we went to the Nintendo like hands-on event and they basically they had us make this RC car which is super easy to make. It takes like 5 minutes. Yeah. But they had us start the fishing rod and like didn't give us time to finish it cuz they knew it would take longer. Is that unsatisfying? Um I mean, I'm, we still got to play with it mm. after when it was done. Um but yeah, I want to show you guys the RC car next. Still variety kit. Yeah, still variety kit. What it really is a variety of five toys. You so thought far. $70 was too much to pay for cardboard. Well, let me tell you. Yeah. And also you get two RC cars in okay. one cardboard sheet here. Um so basically this one's already done. This one has ink on it. Um this one's in green, so like all the RC cars are green. Fishing rod is blue, like so you'll never like mix up okay. different toys. But they also give you a blank one, so you can like decorate it however you want. Uh -huh. Put googly eyes on it if you want. Um, so let's you got to put googly eyes on everything. Yeah, it but, feels like the proper way to do it. Yeah. Wait, so I'm gonna I'm gonna so try to I build this. I'm not the best. I mean, I'm a. Should I leave these in here? An old school oh, the, Lego the, expert. Yeah. yeah. You know, you give me some Legos and an instruction book. I'm I'm there. I really haven't done a lot of cardboard work in my life. Yeah. But I'm willing to flex into this new role. Uh, yeah, so I guess before we let you start building, okay. uh, we can show people like what the finished one looks like. And let's go into the RC car mode here. Stick the controllers in like this. And you got to get the antenna on the thing because that totally, oh, yeah, that yeah, totally yeah. Helps. makes it official. Yeah. So this is our finished RC car. And... If you press this button here, it makes Whoa. the controller vibrate to make it go in that direction. If you press the blue one, it goes left. Press both of them, it goes straight. And this part is really cool. There's a camera, as we mentioned, the IR camera on the red controller here. Mm -hmm. You can actually see yourself on the screen there. Is there there's Paul, night vision mode. Oh. Whoa. Do we get the Paul cam on there? Do people see this? Yeah. There's okay. Paul with his camera, there's Ashley. If you tap it one more time, it turns into like a depth sensing camera. So the closer you are, show up in red. And then also has this auto mode. So you put that down and turn on auto mode. And then it'll start to follow whatever is in front of it. Even if you move it, like... Uh, <laughs> it follows those stickers Yeah, really well. so these stickers pick up super well on the camera. That's cool. Yeah. Let's turn off auto mode there. Um, I don't know. Should we? Oh, so I guess we have to have you build. Yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. So this is supposed to be the easiest one to build. This is super easy. It takes like less than five minutes. And it's the first one they have you build in the variety kit because it teaches you the basics of like folding. So how do we? So we have to go back to make mode. Okay. And the instructions are like super easy to follow. Uh, there's these back and forwards arrows that will let you adjust the speed of like how fast you want to learn. Okay. First, it takes you through like the entire process, and then if you pull the tab like all the way over here, it goes super fast. If you just hold it down, it's like kind of slow. Okay. 
So you just follow these instructions okay. and Paul, start making I believe in the you. RC car. What's take most, these two parts out from the street. See, what's most amazing to me is the fact that like I own a Nintendo Switch and mm -hmm. I really never thought about how it yeah. has a camera yeah. or how this could eventually be used in the future to actually make something like this. Yeah, there's really not that many games on the Switch that make use of this camera. Um, so far, like they've only used it for like one, two Switch. Mm. There's a game on there that's like, I think it's like the eating contest game. Oh yeah, I so remember Nick like, yeah, you just, like, that. Put the controller in front of your mouth and you eat like this. Um, yeah, like we can take some questions about. Yeah, if anyone out there who's watching the show has questions, let us know. I'm gonna go through here and see if there's any that are coming through. But it seems like most people are just really excited about this and that they think that the fishing game could be addictive, which honestly, after just a little bit of playing it, I'm like, I honestly could see myself playing yeah. it and just sitting there waiting for it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any questions yet. Mm. But yeah, Paul, how's it going? The key to good toy con construction is to crease firmly along the fold lines. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, so folding is like 90% of building any of your toys. Yeah, content. it's really making you work for your entertainment. Mm. It looks Which like I, was, I missed a step. I was supposed to punch this step. Okay. Okay. And we're going to fold. Can we like just go back to playing with this because it's my favorite thing ever? It's super fun. I guess I can also show off um, this guitar that is not part of the variety kit, but this our is production homemade. manager Meg. Meg made really this was on the Labo All Star. She's a superstar. She signed this guitar, um, as all good guitars should have, and she reinforced the back with like popsicle sticks here. And we use this for like the Labo video. Um, but you all should watch because it's very incredible. Yeah, it took me like two days of like blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> to program a guitar onto Labo, which is something you can do um, on ToyCon Garage, which is a programming platform within the Labo. Um, it lets you like remix like all the different variety kit games or like the robot kit, which Paul is going to show off later. In yeah. Time. Um, but yeah, for the guitar, we basically like attached this blue controller here and we like use that as like the fret and then we have the screen here and we're like pretending that's so it's cool like a car. so people can buy this now right they're asking yeah. about when it's available yeah it's available now it's and everyone now. seems to be very interested in the quality of the cardboard yeah which oh. it does feel hefty like yeah. this doesn't feel super light yeah it's like somewhere in between the thickness of like a card um a cereal box and like an, an amazon shipping package mm -hmm. like somewhere in the middle yeah and then it's one cartridge per kit right so mm -hmm. it's not like i need a separate cartridge for the piano or for the car mm -mm. so the variety kit has the piano uh rc car fishing rod there's like a tamagotchi like house and what was the other one Motorcycle? Oh. Yeah. Did you guys get the motorcycle? We so it's in the office somewhere. Like we played it at the event and it's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, what? And also, is Nintendo trying to make this an educational thing? Like is that at all part of their focus? Yeah. Or is it more just like this is a fun, cool thing for people to do? I'm sure it's like like they definitely want to focus on education, like especially with Toycon Garage. Um, it teaches kids like the basics of programming. Mm -hmm. So it, it works with like, if this, then that. Um, it works with like a series of nodes where you like determine what is the input node. So like if you touch this part of the screen, the output would be like making a sound or making a part of the screen light up. Yeah. Wait, I figured this out. Okay, Paul's <laughs> got this. So Paul is working on the RC car. It looks like it's almost done. Yeah, I'm a real instruction follower, but I realized now what is actually happening, and I think I have built a car. Yeah. So this is done. This is basically done. Put all the tabs in. Is it all the way in? All the way in. The two tabs into the tab. And you flip it over, all, and it's done. done. We're done. I did it. Did it. It's gorgeous. It also tells you you have to put the antenna on the <laughs> on the screen. Which is purely decoration, right? So this part, this ready. next part, is pretty fun. We're going to face off and oh, race right. these cars. Wait, um, we, I have a racetrack. Let me, let, me, let me get the racetrack. Okay. Yeah, so these instructions are great because it tells you, like, now put the controller in. And it lets you know 
you know, like after you put it in, like, does it feel a little loose? And if so, like, that's okay. Cause it's meant to be loose okay. so that it vibrates. So there we go. Okay. And now we're going to make, uh, Whoa. you guys <laughs> are really feeling creative here. <laughs> using your imaginations. Yeah. So this is the outer edge of the racetrack. This is the middle. And we have um, our starting line right here. So that's the start. Also, like these like cones mm -hmm. also come with the cardboard kit. So like they're really encouraging you to like, you know, get competitive. Wow, I'm I can't believe we're gonna. All right, so shall I exit out happening. of here, out of this tutorial? Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's exit out, and go back to the play portion. And this is the part that lets you race your friends. You can control both of these on one switch. Wait, I think one of these is backwards. Which one? Oh, okay. Which oh, the I IR camera is forward. I have no idea. I think, yeah, I think it was going towards where. Okay, the let's test this out. Okay. So, I'll take, I'll take this one. Okay. You take right, guys. the other one. Wait, 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 is it? Who's gonna win? Okay. Dami or Paul? Yeah, place your bets right yeah, now. Yeah, place your bets I'm, in the chat right Actually, right I now. can't pick sides, you know? I gotta you remain go. neutral yeah. here. I'm just bets. a neutral Ready? referee. Ready? You have an advantage because <laughs> you're closer. I'm on the inside. Okay, I'm whatever. Inside. You can try Ready? to push him out. That's Ready what all the, the marathoners okay. do. I hope everyone has all the years of their life to wait here. Wait. So like basically like Mad Max. <laughs> the sound is like, terrible. But slower. This is neck and neck. I'm like uh, I'm doing uh, pretty well. Paul is uh, oh, Dami's getting aggro right here. Dami's really trying to push him out. But Paul, wait, is that music coming from the switch? Paul's yeah, there's it definitely happen. cool okay. racing music uh, happening. Dami, you are now. Wait, if I could just Stop. get into the inside there, like you're I really could, getting aggressive, really but Paul I could is win Paul is. <laughs> I could She's win this all. Oh. She's moving no, the track. She's moving the track. She's moving the She's Bow. making this Bow. starting line Bow. farther away. I, I think we should just settle No it. one wins. I won. Dami no. did win. Dami did okay. win. I totally won. <laughs> Fair and square. That, that was, was 52 race. seconds. Wow. And new record. Yeah. New track record. Dami Lee. Yep. So that's just wow, a that was incredible. sampling yeah. of what you can do with the variety kit. Um, now let's move on to the robot kit. Wait, can I ask a question from the okay. chat? People want to know if you think it's worth the money. I definitely think it's worth the money. Like, if you're going to spend $60 on, like, Super Mario or, like, any game these days. Games are, like, $70 yeah, yeah. these days. Like, this is an experience that I will have fun with over and over again. It makes a lot more sense if you have kids. Yeah, totally. Uh, but there is something that is very satisfying. If, you, if you're looking for, like, a hobby. Yeah, if you want to you know, learn programming or... Or just like yeah. make something with your hands. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. okay. So let's talk All about right, the so robot. Let's, let's All right. So I'm gonna switch out the cartridge here. Oh, that's right. It's a different. Yeah, it's a different game. All the together. robot is eighty dollars. Yes. I do cartridge. think the robot. I, mean, I think the variety kit is a better value. Yeah. That's if I were to awesome. recommend something, like I would recommend that over the robot. And this took uh, one of our team members, Jeff, yes. about three hours. Three to hours. Three it's hours. The longest one to build. I think uh, we have like a time lapse of Jeff oh, making yeah, the robot go. kit. There he is. And yeah, there's just so many pieces. Um, should I show off like the inside of it first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the instructions have you create like weights to be put inside this cardboard backpack. And uh, basically, all those weights are made up of this cardboard that you fold over each other and it works like the piano you have these like ir stickers that move up and down depending on if you're pulling on the strings and you can't see it on the camera but paul also has um the weights attached to his feet so so the controller with the camera would go in yeah. there so we have to put the controller there. into the back of the robot kit how does it feel to pull on the strings I, I was certain when I saw this, it looked like the most fragile thing in the world. Uh, and I didn't think I would be able to actually wear it at all. It's yeah. weirdly strong. Yeah, it's cool that like both kids and adults can wear this robot kit because the string is long enough. Mm. 
I definitely feel like I'm sending Paul off to school. <laughs> oh, and also it comes with this visor here that you can uh, wear. That's right, that's we right. have to put the blue controller. Okay. Is this, should we launch the... Yeah. So let's put the robot kit into the dock. Wait, maybe. Hmm. Which way does this go? <laughs> All right. So this is my new look for the summer. So you have your visor on. <laughs> Replacing your wearable computer glasses. That's right, that's right. And we're gonna just go ahead and put this into the dock and play the robot game. All right, we're gonna put this on the big screen so you guys can see. And Paul's gonna demonstrate you guys what wanna... it's like to be a robot. So this, these, are the, these are the legs. Yeah. It is a little fiddly. To get it, oh, I'm already okay. a robot, okay. So right now you have the visor on which puts you into the perspective of the robot. First person perspective, you take it off, it goes back to normal. And the objective of this game is to basically just walk around and destroy everything. So you can take a bunch of steps to go forward, um, punch the building to destroy it. If you... You could also visualize where the... Yeah. The weights are. Yeah. Try You're sewing destruction. Down. If you crouch down, you can turn into a car. Which yes. is cool. This is good for the kids. Yeah. The parents, yeah, not so much. Tire them out, I think. Yeah. I'm going to try that, for sure. It's really <laughs> funny because the Switch can also tell how many calories you burn while doing this. I feel like it should be making me your own sound. Yeah. Well, my favorite part. This almost feels like an AR experience, but it's not. You can fly. Yeah. You just extend your arms out to fly. It gives you like helpful tips. It really loves giving you these helpful tips. Yeah. I've played this game like away. three or four times, and yeah. it always gives me these helpful tips. Maybe you're not doing enough destruction. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're just being peaceful. I really don't like destroying things. I'm a builder, not a destroyer. Mm. Oh, but, so you actually found a way to program the robot kit to do something more. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I was, um, I thought this was cool and I was uh, pretty excited about it. And then I saw Dami's project of building this guitar and playing Rainbow Connection. Um, so I immediately took the this robot kit. And I was like, well, I can make a, like a robot piano, mm -hmm. which I think I think that's the idea, and I think that's why this is an exciting thing. Is because I think I'm probably not the only person who thought robot piano when they saw Dami's video, because <laughs> it's just obvious. What what am I doing? I'm I'm doing stuff. Okay, here we go. So Paul built a one man instrument yeah. machine that you control with your body. And I picked really sad sounds. <laughs> oh my god. It's just heartbreaking to watch. Yeah, I really well do feel so it. sad. But you know, Paul, you're following your heart, and that's what's important here. So yeah, so I can explain how this works. <laughs> this episode I'm, is full of sadness. So, really proud. so basically, you this has inputs so the input is if the uh, the left arm right arm right leg left leg um, i also set it up with touch inputs like Dami's guitar thing so those and then those are wired up to um the the way the legs work it detects that you're pulling it down mm -hmm. and it, it, it it's the it's it's the opposite of how the arms work if the, you think of the arms are automatically contracted and then they're like the the legs by default are, what's the opposite of contracted? Uh, Extract? No. Uh, like condensed, no. like, like. No. Extended. Uh, there you go. Okay. okay. So by de so I put in these knot gates. So that's in the mm. middle. There's these logic things. Yeah. So, um, so I put in the little knot gates. Because there are not and AND gates, by the way, this is Turing complete. You could um, make your own NAND gates and make a whole computer out of this program. What? Language. What? Um, it would take forever. <laughs> it would be really slow. Uh, yeah, and then, then those just go to piano notes. Yeah, you can customize what sound you want, the piano, or you can make it play like an organ sound. 
can customize it to play like a heavy metal guitar sound. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's pretty crazy. Is like, there a way to share what you've created? Like, does, do they build a community so forum or anything? Maybe, because you can go in here and like save your file. Mm. But I don't know how to like get that file off the Switch. Do you know? I have no idea. Yeah. I'm guessing that's something they've thought of. You mm -hmm. can also say what range it senses this within. Mm-hmm. So if, if, you, if I didn't want it, I didn't, but I didn't want a guitar sound until I hit like a pretty high. Oh yeah. So I, it's not doing anything. Uh, there's a threshold. That's really cool. Yeah. Super customizable. All right, Paul. <laughs> just do cool. that. The whole Happy day. for you. I love this. If I don't see you in the subway, like <laughs> busking. Paul's one man band. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Well, that is the Labo. Amazing, yes. Dami. So this was beautiful. Thank you, Dami. Um, so, Paul. Yes. You made a video. Yeah, I was basically trying to start some beef with Heim Gartenberg because we were disagreeing about some technology topics. It's also, true. I feel like a lot of what the show is about is showing like, behind the scenes, and what is more than behind the scenes than a, a, a writer for Circuit Breaker's desk? So, this is Heim's desk. Hey, it's your friend Paul Miller. A lot of people have said that, Paul, why is your desk so messy? And what I always say to them is, um, well, I don't have a good answer, but one, one way I deflect is I say, have you seen Heim's desk? Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi, Gartenberg. Hi. In addition to uh, always agreeing about where keyboards should be placed and headphone form factors, we both have pretty messy desks. Would you agree? Yes. Would you say your desk is maybe more messy than mine? I would maybe disagree on that. I generally point people at your desk. Oh, wow. So we're both deflecting. Yeah. See, I have a lot more loose cables. You've got a lot of boxes. Yeah, I mean, they just accumulate because you have like little things like, you know, headphones and hubs and then they come in boxes and then I don't need the box while I'm testing it, but I need the box so I can give it back afterwards. And it's just like, they just kind of pile up and I test a lot of things, so. I think what we should do, I, there's no shame here. All right, that's but, good. Well, let's, let's, just, let's just run through what you got. This is the most important space, which is the small reclaimed area that I get to keep my computer so I can actually get work done. Let it be known that you do get a lot of work done. That's, that's good of you to say. Uh, these are my headphones. Uh, they usually go in my bag. I just didn't put them back in my bag after my commute this morning. Would you say they're comfortable headphones? Yeah, these are great. These are really comfortable. That's good to know. Uh, Nintendo Switch, which I'm actually currently testing with some USB-C chargers right now. This is a notebook full of notes for meetings. Oh, this is my to-do list notebook, actually. Uh, I have actually still not done some of these. I should get on that. Wait, where's that cable from? Oh, okay, so this cable is actually from these headphones. I'm matching, matching the logos. Sometimes I send things <laughs> back. Sometimes they just stay on my desk. But you, what, what's the process here? So the process here is I'm going to hand okay. it to Michael, and Michael is going to hopefully put in our review room. Real time behind the scenes. Uh, Michael, I have this to return. Uh, there will be more. It's like an Echo Dot Apple TV combo pack. Am I right? Uh, you are not. A man of many interests. This is some garbage. This is some garbage. This is some garbage. Ooh, that, that plastic, you know, I really, I recognize that plastic sheet as just a common thing that goes in boxes sometimes. <laughs> This is the Remarkable. It's an e-ink tablet. Oh, this was on the show. Uh, this is a personal favorite. It is a Razer light-up mug holder. And if you plug this into a computer, it lights up. And you can have it light up with, like, Razer stuff so in your when, headphones. So when your ultimate is available in Overwatch, your yeah, mug lights up. Yeah, so you can have your mug light up when your ultimate's available. It's it's really the pinnacle of, of mug technology. Are you reviewing the PS4? I am borrowing a PS4 from The Verge because I don't actually own a PS4, but I am playing the new God of War, so I can write about that for our game section. Uh, new God of War is, by the way, pretty good. Oh. These are notebooks five and six. Oh, notebook counting. Notebook number seven, which says Spall on it. 
I'm not sure why. That's a, a common uh, insult that I received in middle school. This is the holder for these headphones, so I'm going to put this back oh, over look at here. that. We're reuniting elements. Let's reunite these guys. Yes. I think I spotted goggles. <laughs> are there goggles on your desk, huh? Uh, yeah, of course. These are my uh, protection goggles. We're actually, like, reaching the base layer of desk, at least in the center over here. Uh, now, are we, like in archaeology, are we going backwards in time? Yeah, we're actually, we are actually going backwards in time. Hey! I want to say number eight. I'm at 20. I'm seeing a book. Do you also review books? Uh, I don't review books. Uh... It seems like the base sedimentary layer is USB cables. Yeah. This is a PlayStation 4 controller that looks a lot like an Xbox controller. And a Google Pixel book. We need a list of all the things that are you you're currently in progress on. We're finally approaching the, uh, the final layer. This is just a giant pile of USB-C hubs. Would you call yourself the world's foremost expert on USB-C hubs? Uh, Can I, I call you the world's foremost? You can do whatever you want, Paul. <laughs> this is great news. Look at all these cables. So yeah, I just need to organize the cables a little bit. Let's do the official count. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen. That That's seems bad, that seems about right. It's bad that I really just want to take everything on your chair and put it on your desk. No, 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 please don't. I, I need to. I need to address this. That's how it's done. Use psychological warfare on your coworkers to make them clean their desks. Are you going to clean your desk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm... <laughs>
or not. Just to set it up over here. Yeah, it's okay, Sean. It's the here. drone, the drone's getting a little here, camera here, shy. Okay. Here's what's but, happening over here. Oh, okay, Sean made Sean's it. Sean's stalling. Okay, we got we got the well, drone here. Stalling. It broke on me. No. This is a classic circuit breaker yeah. live problem. Know, right? It oh, things always break. You just have to handle it's it calmly. Make a whole big grand Gotta entrance be calm. is going to be amazing. So while you're fixing then, everything furiously, this is the Teledrone. It's made by a Chinese company called Rise. It has Intel and DJI technology inside of it. Okay. Uh, and it's 99 bucks, which means it's actually like for sure the best if you can get it to connect uh, indoor drone. And watch out here. Oh my. Uh, I've flown. Whoa! Be careful with the camera. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't have a ton of obstacle avoidance. You can, it will like sort of move away from stuff below it, but I don't know how helpful that is. Uh, Something. It's got, you know, propeller guards, which is nice. It shoots 720p video. Wait, can I see the, the camera view? <laughs> but not like the world's greatest camera, but it does have a camera. No, for sure oh, not a really great camera, but it just is really smooth and very easy to fly. It also has these really crazy flight modes. Uh, let me see if I can get this in the... Okay, let's see this. Come on. What? <laughs> it can do these flips. What? Uh, it's got an orbital oh my mode. God. It's got a whole bunch of modes that you'd expect. Can you do like another a, flip? Do one more flip, one more flip. Oh yes. my God, that is terrifying. And then... 100 bucks. Any good drone has a hand landing mode. Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous. Wow. Wow. That's a good place to start. Wow. What a deal. What's that called again? The Tello. 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 Oh my. For a drone that actually works. Yeah. Astonishing. Okay. So, Paul, I hate to do this, yeah. but it's kind of. We're out of spin. It's kind of, yeah. It's time for everybody. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> and everybody, everybody. 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 We want everybody on the set. We're bringing back all, <laughs> all graduation songs. the great... We all uh, can just uh, sway together. The people you Everyone love. Everyone out. The everybody. gadgets you care about. The whole squad. What do we all got? Right. What do we got? Jake, what okay, is this? Okay, we're going to run through these gadgets uh, super fast. Talking to this. Talk hey, Jake, how you doing? Talking to this. Hey, Jake, how you doing? This is... Uh, Called Lil Mid. You can leave messages for people. Lil so, Lil Mid, like t- Lil. Talking to did us. Did you say hello? Did you say hello? And you can you can mess with the voice. Wait, wait, is it called Lil? Did you say L I L Mib? Oh my god, it's my brand this is the cutest noise. name. It's wonderful. <laughs> this is good. Okay, Welch, what did you bring? So if you're of a certain age like me, I'm in my 30s. Uh, you probably recall playing the Oregon Trail on a very old, dusty Apple computer back in the day. Now you show can buy it to that the game. Overhead cam. Now you can buy that game. For twenty-five dollars from Target in this miniaturized form. <laughs> it's natural life. <laughs> all right, guys, let's start. It. Let's start. First, we got to go to the supply store, right? Uh, we've already done all that. We got a game in progress, just so we can get. I prefer here. to mostly Even invest in food, accurate. so I don't have to do all the hunting. <laughs> start as a banker. Yeah, I'm a banker. Yeah. <laughs> I love how clicky the buttons are. Yeah. But- uh, the buttons are kind of janky. They're kind of wobbly, and the screens. <laughs> but the screens better than you would think. It's a bit direct. It's stretch, I'm not sure what resolution this is. I do appreciate the nice. white problem does this song. So we can check the map here, we can hunt, we can trade, we can stop to rest. So let's just go on the trail though and see how we do. Oh, you died of dysentery. Already? Let's see yeah. who gets sick. Oh. I'm not sure how much I've ever learned from this game. You just know that... To I learned how to spell dysentery. Yes. <laughs> All right, and well... it's always very... Very scary to move. All right, Dami, what do you have? Oh, I had a size. I forgot to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there. Dami didn't do her homework. It's okay. Oh, you just did, did such a whole job on fun. your Nintendo yeah. demo that we can probably forgive this one. I'm sorry. We need to demand that Creighton comes in here. Oh yeah, Creighton. About every, the, we need the to talk about this. On the show that is Creighton, not our producer. Show. He should come in now. Uh, burst he better be sprinting and running into the studio at this very moment. Perhaps. Hey. Oh, okay. Hey. 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 Everyone always asks. It was on the spinning wheel, and I was going to run in. This is uh, a Surface Pro that I have Velcroed to the uh, guts of an iMac G4, and it's just connected like that. And I just kind wow. of pop it on, and it pops off, and that's how we talk to all y'all. This is amazing. We're giving away all our tricks. It was just way more fun. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right. Well, 
that is the show. Yeah. We had a good I don't think we didn't practice a good like goodbye. Yeah. There's so, no easy way to get I wrote a song, song, but it was too sad. And you said, no, you can't sing the song. If only you had your robot <laughs> suit on. I guess. Yeah, don't don't but, come but here next Please week. go to the the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff that we're we're doing. We're yeah, no. Busy. We're still gonna be at youtube.com slash the verge, which you are at right now. We're still making content, circuit breaker still exists. The show will live on in different ways. Mm. And that's it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye.